previous video we looked at the Glide Noise Mark II module and how we can use that to access the CV bus. The CV bus allows you to control multiple VCOs simultaneously without having to connect to them on the front panels via the one volt Procto inputs. So it saves using the multiple and a bit more cabling and just simplifies the process. There's a link to this video in the description below and in the card at the top right of the video screen. We also looked at the precision voltages, which aside from being able to control the pitch of multiple VCOs at tuned intervals, it can also be used to adjust the incoming CV from a keyboard, a sequencer or a MIDI CV converter to allow you to reach the lowest notes that your VCOs are capable of. Because most such devices won't produce negative CV values, they'll only go down to zero volts. Again, the link to that video is in the description below and in the cards in the corner of the screen. There's another way in which using these two modules together can be very useful. And that is when you want to add pitch modulation or vibrato to multiple VCOs. Ordinarily with an LFO, you'd need to go into a multiple and then from there into the exponential CV inputs of the, of the VCOs. And the problem with that is that you then have to adjust the amount of CV modulation on, on these pots for each VCO. And that can be a bit difficult and, and tedious. The one way you can get around it is by sending the output of the LFO to an attenuator and then again into a multiple. And then when you've connected the three exponential CV inputs to the multiple, you can raise the exponential CV pots right the way to the maximum and then use the attenuator to uniformly adjust the amount of CV that all three of them are receiving so that they're pretty much the same. That's made even easier with something like the Tap Tempo LFO which has got its own level control. This is a, a built-in VCA so that can be used to adjust the, the amount of LFO that's feeding all of those, those VCOs. But what would make it even more convenient would be if you could add the modulation to the CV coming into the CV bus, which would then mean you no longer have to connect to the exponential CV inputs on the VCOs or use a multiple. So at the moment I've got this keyboard controlling the pitch of all three VCOs. So if I want to add vibrato to that, first of all, instead of going directly into the CV in, if I go into channel A of the precision voltages and then take the output of A just to show you what it's doing into the CV in, it's replicating the same. See, it hasn't changed anything. These will probably be the outputs you more commonly use but if you connect to this output here, this is a global output for both channels. Same again. But the difference with this output is you can use it to combine with what comes into input B. So if I then take the output from the LFO, and I'm using the, the bipolar output, which is the normal LFO sort of frequency range. Now at the moment that's off. And first of all, if I flick this switch up, it will add that to the incoming CV from the keyboard. And at first that will be quite useless. Because it's adding the full range of CV modulation coming from the LFO. So we don't want that. So if you have a conventional LFO, you'd need to attenuate this signal before it goes into the precision voltages. So if you've got the dual LFO, you could use the CV mix to reduce the amount of CV just to, the, to provide the amount of modulation that you, that you want. Or on the case of the, the case of the tap tempo LFO, you've got this VCA, so you can reduce the level.